This is a time we need to ascend. We not only need to press through. Many people want to just put their head on the press through. No. The Lord is saying lift your head and come up hither. Not in pride. Lift your eyes to the hill from which comes your help. Every day you don't get what you've done. He showed you mercy. And it's new every day. And you dare worship anyone but him. And by him I mean Jesus. Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, the only living God. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Preach Your Voice, Not an Echo. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Ambassador Chantro Davis. I just have to record a couple of them, and I'm pretty sure y'all going to see whenever I load them up. <laughs> again, uh, don't assume you saw it because it's the same outfit. I'm going to record a uh, just a quick vision. Um, most of you probably saw it on the page because I posted it because I always like to make a mental note when it's just a very short, very clear vision. You know, though there were some other things in there, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not sure the Lord would have me to share, so I'm not going to share them right off. But I do want to put this warning out. I'm not going to read all these things because that's on the whole line. But um, I'm going to first read the dream scripture really quick uh, uh, because, um, yeah, I'm going to continue to say that because the Lord said that to me. He said, prophesy to the perplexities and give the practicalities. What are the perplexities? The troubles. What are the practicalities? The simple answer. Because most people's issues is sin. If they would just close doors, it's sin or past sin that they have not closed the door to. Hidden things from the generational bloodline and things that they touched that they have not yet closed doors to. Soul ties they have not broken. Lay lines they have not cut. Spiritual doors they have not closed. Renouncing and denouncing things they have not touched. Okay? And over time, they will eventually get a stronger hold on you if you do not take care of these things. But I'm going to go forth with this dream scripture. Uh, first, I'm going to read John 13 and 9. Now I tell you before it comes, that when it comes to pass, you may believe that I am he. And that is not just for me to believe that he is Christ when he tells me, but that you will believe that, he, you know, the word of God is moving through me. Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. This is not only dreams and vision, but this is discernment to see what's behind the thing and to see far enough ahead to prepare for things. That's why he shows. Okay. Second Chronicles 36, 16. But they mocked the messengers of God and they despised his words. I mean, they thought little of them until the wrath of the Lord arose until there was no remedy. That means you, it, 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 there's no way out. That means judgment is inevitable. It will not be stopped. No remedy. I mean, you're going to get whatever the Lord going to give you and only he would decide. What mercy he going to show because he's the only one that can show it once the judgment goes forth. You, you don't get to pray off somebody's punishment. Then you can cry mercy. You can pray for mercy. But only the Lord determines who he's going to show mercy to. Okay? And sometimes mercy is death. I know y'all don't want to hear that. Sometimes mercy is people being taken out of her because 100% fall is coming. And he wants to take them before they get taken away all the way. So some people's mercy will be death. And I may have to do a short message on that because mercy don't always look like you think, okay? Okay? Ezekiel, uh, first, first John 4, verse 6. He that knoweth God heareth us. Heareth is not only one time. You continue to hear. They hear it. You continue to come to this channel. You continue to listen to these dreams and hearken. You hear it us. He that is not of God heareth us not. They may listen to one or two messages and they go on. Okay? Because they many people have, say that they have accepted Christ, but they do not have his spirit, okay? Ezekiel 33, 33. And when this cometh to pass, and Lord will come, then you shall know that a prophet has been among you. The rest of these I'm going to put in there. Return unto me, and I will return unto you. That's Malachi 3 and 7. You can read that on your own time. Acts 13 and 19. That is, repent ye therefore, and be converted, that the sins may be blotted out. You can read that on your own time. Behold, he comes quickly. That's Re Revelation 16 and 15. We don't have as much time. As we think, Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9, I am one of the wicked by that scripture. You can read it on your own time because the blood will not be on my hand. I'm shouting it from the rooftops. I'm one of the righteous according to Ezekiel, Ezekiel 3 and 20 because the righteous need to be warned too because they're contrary and they lukewarm. So they are in the most danger. Okay. You're in the most danger when you know Christ and still won't walk straight. Uh, Matthew 10 and 27, what I tell you in the darkness. That speak you in light. And what I what you hear in the ear, that preach ye on the housetop. Okay? Acts 2, verse 17 through 18. And it shall come to pass that in the last days, saith the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters 
shall prophesy. Prophesy is not just dreams and visions. It's taking this word and saying, this is what the word of God says. Thus said the word of God. This is the word of the Lord. That's prophesying. And then you would also prophesy of your children. He shall be a king headed in the right direction. Who shall fulfill all your will. His mouth shall sing your praises and tell of your goodness. He is blessed in the city. Blessed. Prophesying. Okay? Use the word of God and prophesy. Speak to, the, speak to what's broke down and tell it to get up. That's prophesying. And your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And upon your servants and your handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. Okay? This vision, real quick and to the point. This vision and warning is for Texas. The Texas-Oklahoma border. And I realize that it's Tex Texoma. Okay? Texoma, and when I say Texoma, not just Texoma, Oklahoma, all the cities along the border of the Texas-Oklahoma border. There are cities on the Texas side, and there are cities on the Oklahoma side, and I got the whole list up here. It's probably like 40 or 50 or 60 of them. I'm not going to read them all. I'm going to put them in the thing. But these are the cities uh, that are a warning. The, uh, I, rather, it's pestilence. Because of what I saw in this vision, oh, I saw so much more, but I'm not sure. Some of it, I'm not even sure I'm supposed to share. But a crack in the foundation, not only water, not only floods, uh, pestilence. Um, I'm not sure if this means the shaking is an earthquake, but I saw a crack, a long crack in glass and in a, it looked like a bottom of a foundation of a house. So I know that's very symbolic too, but even in the land outside. So a crack. A shaking, because that's what I was hearing even when I saw the crack. Um, but uh, a lot of things entered my spirit then. So rather it's going to be earthquakes, storms, some of the double tornadoes I saw, outbreak, flooding. The cities along the Oklahoma-Texas border, which a lot of people call Texas, but it's actually a city called Texahoma. But I don't want you to think I'm just talking about that city. It's the cities along those borders on both sides, and it's at least 40 or 50 of them. Um, that there's a shaking coming on. Now, whether that shaking is going to be pestilence, whether it's going to be earthquake or all pestilence, earthquake, shooting, flooding, those cities are going to begin to get hit along the Texas uh, and Oklahoma border, and we need to pray. We don't ever just want to receive, because I always pray, Lord, if this means you are from the enemy. And sometimes I even pray, Lord, if I ever even delivered a gene, there was, was more of the enemy, and he, he implanted stuff in there. But you have to, that's something you have to always do. Okay, because the enemy tries to get you to speak his will in this earth, so you have to be mindful. But the Lord has a certain way he communicates, but the enemy will, the enemy will attempt to mimic it or pervert it uh, from time and again. So you have to stay before the Lord at all times. But this is a warning of a shaking, and this is a various things, but it is concerning the cities on the Texas-Oklahoma border on both sides. And there's a long line of cities. It looks like about 20 or 30 here on the uh, Oklahoma side, and it looks like about another maybe 20 to 25 on the Texas side. And I will put them in the blog or in the bottom of the thing of these cities. But it's just the cities along that line in that area. I don't know what it is, but we need to pray for them because I think they have some things coming that is going to really bring for some judgment uh, uh, concerning that borderline. Uh, so that's all I have on that vision. It's to the point. I'm going to load it up just like this. Share this dream and vision as all of them because I have a whole list of them. It's at least with the visions, at least almost 200 of them. Um, um, and some of them are just now starting to come to pass, and some of them I know ain't coming past till later because they are very violent and they have to do with serious war. And again, I may re, uh, because I put the seven dreams of war in one video and it was all audio, and I think I'm going to go through and literally re record them video and separate them dream by dream instead of in one because I was still growing and I just was recording all day because he showed them to me so fast back to back. And I mean, they are very telling of the war and the two armies coming against America and even how the homosexuals are going to be up then because this Antichrist is coming is homosexual. And he showed me that in 2011 that it was going to be exalted and the persecution was going to start. And even in the war, they're not going to be getting the treatment we would get because that is the system that's coming in. That is the trans system. That is the Baphomet system. That is the Antichrist system. And like it or not, that's just what it is. Um, so I'm going to re-record them in individual videos. But it, those of you who want to see it now, you can listen to them on the seven dreams and seven visions of war on the U.S. Um, so share this dream. Pray about it. 
pray with me and for me and also pray for people along that border that they be saved. Pray for mercy and grace and correction, the chastisement and pray for the judgment of the Lord because he can judge them inwardly and judge their behavior and judge their life so that they correct themselves and then they can stay the hand of some of this stuff. You don't know if this stuff is written and, and to where it's no remedy or if the Lord is willing to turn because they repent, just like he did Nineveh. You know, you could pray for judgment. He might start to hit them at home, and they'd be like, well, what's going on? And they start crying out, and they get turned back from some of this stuff. Our families can get brought out of it. So pray just for everybody in that area uh, because there are saved people in that area too, okay? you got to always know that even places that you get, you got people that belong to Christ in them. And we and the Lord is not willing for anyone to perish. So always pray. Again, share this video. Pray with me, and I'll pray with me and for me, and I will pray with and for you. Grace be with you, beloved, and I love you all. So into the good ground of preach be a voice, not an echo, yet only as you have purposed in your heart. For God loves a cheerful giver. The truth, the truth of the word of God. Word of God. 1 Corinthians 9.11 reads, If we have sown into your spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? Give only with purpose and cheer, for we desire fruit that will abound towards your account. We thank you for all of your support, seed of your time, seed of your prayers, and the purpose seed of your gifts. To give, visit our YouTube channel and click on the PayPal logo or go directly to PayPal using the following links or email preachbvne at yahoo.com. To listen to more messages and for the latest updates and offers, visit www.preachbvne.webs.com. Also view messages on the YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash preach be a voice, not an echo ministry. Also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Do the work of an evangelist. Watch it, then share it. Beloved, we wish above all things that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Grace be with you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.